just kind of like everything I love in one little plate. You could have put it on old shoes mm -hmm. and, and it would have been good. <laughs> Delicious. I loved everything about it. Insider <laughs> tip right here. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. Redwood Credit Union offers personal and business banking, mobile access, and nationwide ATMs. It's banking for people who call this home and the future we're building together. Redwood Credit Union. national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. Hi, I'm Leslie Sabraco. Welcome to Check Please Bay Area the show where regular Bay Area residents review and talk about their favorite restaurants. We have three guests and each one recommends one of their favorite spots and the other two go check them out to see what they think. This week, interior designer Kelly Finley arranges a perfect sushi experience at one of her preferred picks in San Francisco. And construction supply sales manager James Jennison assembles an Italian feast at his neighborhood spot in Pleasanton but first, resource manager Natalie Ovino leads us on an expedition to Emeryville to explore her esteemed bar and restaurant with exceptional cocktails and delightful bar bites. This is Honor Kitchen and Cocktails. I'm Lara Trapelli, and my husband Gar and I are the owners of Honor Kitchen and Cocktails. So the name comes from the definition of honor, which is honesty, fairness, integrity. But really it's about what's honorable. You know, what we do here with our menu and our cocktails, inspiring our staff to be honorable in all that they do, and also honoring our guests. So when you walk through the door, we've got our honor wall full of interesting items. You're welcome to take anything you like. We just ask that you replace it with something of equal or cooler value. And then of course we have our very popular honor bucket of beer with all kinds of beers, bottle opener, help yourself. We want you to be comfortable, enjoy yourself right away. Just tell the bartender to add it to your tab. It's on your honor. We feel honored that people choose to come, you know, join us and spend their time and hard-earned money with us, and we want to make sure we show them that same level of respect. Now, Natalie, honor kitchen and cocktails, yes. but I think we need to start with the cocktail yes. part of it. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> There's so many wonderful cocktails on the right. menu. There's always something for everyone. If you prefer a dry martini versus a fruity sherbet filled drink, you right. can have your pick of one or any, really. But there's also beer and wine. And I just went with the wine. Mm -hmm. And honestly, their wine selection was very good. It was much more extensive than you would expect at right. a bar. And like I think the first glass, because I'm sure I had more than one, was um, the Gruner Vent Liner. And so I felt like they actually got a very good wine list, because um, mm -hmm. I think the second drink was a Pinot Noir, and they were both from Sonoma. And right. So I thought that was, it was really good. My friend that came with me did have a cocktail, and she loved it. Yeah. And she drank the entire thing, <laughs> clearly. <laughs> and did you order anything to drink? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. I was very intrigued by this whole honor system. There's a tub of beer in the middle of the bar full right. of beer and mm -hmm. it's a good ploy because if the service is slow and your waiter's not back to bring you another drink well you can get up and get another beer that's right you've got a choice and, of and beer and they had a lot of different ones out. so mm -hmm. i was just really intrigued by that i had never seen it thought about it so i tried many of them <laughs> It's the honor system. It's the honor system. So now we've we've cleared that this is a, a cocktail forward place. Let's talk about the kitchen piece of it. Yes. What do you typically order? Well, I'm a burrata super fan, I would say. Okay. It came with 
fresh toasted crostini bread. It had a delicious balsamic glaze on it, as well as some hazelnuts in there. And I love hazelnuts too. So it's kind of like everything I love in one little plate, <laughs> carbs, cheese, hazelnuts. <laughs> uh, I went with a group of three girlfriends and it was gone pretty much the second it was on the plate. We had divvied it up and it was done. And also we started with the crispy Brussels sprouts with the onion yes. caramel glaze. Yes. They were so crispy and so well cooked. And I feel like I, every time I try to do it at home in my cast iron skillet, I can never it make them work. that good. That was, what, now you're both shaking your head like, hmm, James. That was a fantastic dish. It really was. But the bone marrow, which you don't find on most mm -hmm. menus, and our waiter, James. Right with a great away. name. <clears throat> with a great name. <laughs> we, we bonded. Oh, good. We did. He suggested right off, order extra bread. It doesn't come with enough bread. You should order more bread. You're going to want it. We did. The bone marrow was fantastic. Slather it right Yours on that was, bread. Your mm -hmm. Brussels sprouts were number two. And I had some people <laughs> with me that don't normally like Brussels sprouts, and they're just like, could we order another one? And, like, <laughs> and you had the Brussels yes, sprouts Yes, the well. Brussels sprouts were by far the best thing we ate. Mm -hmm. I think it was the onion glaze. It had a little lime in it. It had Marcona almonds. Mm -hmm. I mean, I literally had to get my friend from, like, almost licking the plate. I mean, yes. that's how good it was. And so that was by far, our, it was our first dish, but also our best. For the other appetites, we had the corn fritters, which mm -hmm. weren't as big of a hit. And in fairness, our waiter gave us his suggestions and we decided to go away from them. Mm -hmm. It had very little corn flavor. So we, I mean, we ate it and we actually dipped it a little bit in the Brussels sprouts. <laughs> so it worked, but it was like the Brussels sprouts were such a star, it right. made the corn fritters kind of pale in comparison. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a lot of shareable options right. at Absolutely. this place, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. What did you have next, James? We had the bucket of yeah. yard birds. Yard birds. Yard birds. <laughs> yard yes. birds. The, the, yard the bird. yard birds were a big hit. Mm -hmm. um, I was with a large group. They were gone instantaneously. <laughs> Let's talk about the yard bird and the, the fried chicken. The fried chicken, my second favorite, to mm -hmm. It comes with a beautiful display of crispy fried chicken with those wonderful craggly edges that you want when you bite in. Uh, the biscuit that it comes with. It was, it was a wonderful biscuit. I just, I'm telling you, I have pins on my jacket with carbs close to my heart. That's where I keep them all, so. I keep them on my thighs. Yeah. <laughs> so the chicken is always cooked perfectly. I've had that dish probably 10 times and it is always consistently fantastic. And I must say the biscuit is kind of my second star compared to the fried chicken. Now, did you have the fried chicken Yes, well? we had the bucket mm -hmm. old yard bird, as they call it. Yeah. Um, we, so I will say it was very heavy, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's a bucket of <laughs> fried chicken, a biscuit, a, a pretty dense biscuit, but it's like slathered in honey too. And then you have the salad. It was all very delicious. Right. I actually thought the hot sauce on top of it mm -hmm. really kind of made it sing. Um, and the, we, we were a little disappointed because we asked beforehand, but we only got all white meat. And we were, we're all, I mean, all I wanted was a thigh. Like, mm. I just really, really wanted a thigh. <laughs> right. um, but it was all very, very tasty. Because we essentially, as you said, split it. Mm -hmm. And we also split the burger. Mm -hmm. We had the house ground burger, which was delicious. It had special sauce. The bread is, it's not a brioche, but it's a very soft bread. Mm. The meat was delicious. Yeah. And with the fries, it was just a very nice, you know, light meal. Bar food. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> bar, bar food. food, exactly. We had the fries also. They seem to be regular fries. I mean, mm -hmm. nothing really to write home about, mm -hmm. but they were good. Did you try the ham jelly with them, though? Yes, the ham jelly. Now, that's the star. Okay, the ham jelly, though, we fought over and tried to put it on <laughs> all kinds of different dishes. <laughs> okay, we so would you ordered save the fries it. for the jelly. That's yes. what you needed over there. I don't think I got ham jelly. jelly. It was something else. It was. You could have put it on old shoes and, mm -hmm. and ate it, it would have been good. <laughs> did they miss anything that you normally get? I or think they cover with the, the Brussels sprouts, <clears throat> I mean, I yes. got the burrata so you didn't have to, but right. I suggest going it back was for it. List. <laughs> and I also ordered the meatballs for the table, okay. which I thought were fantastic because they weren't your typical right. meatballs in a red sauce. They were kind of almost in a pot roast gravy. Mm -hmm. So it was that nice, really meaty, savory flavor. Right. I absolutely loved it. That was actually my first time trying it and I will absolutely order it again. Wash down with a bucket of beer. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> On the honor system. On the honor system. <laughs> All right, well, this is your spot. Give us a quick summary. All right, well, if you're looking for excellent cocktails and great elevated bar food, Honor Bar is your place to be. And James. I agree. It was everything that I expected. Um, it was a bar with food and it was good and it was lively and it was fun. Okay, and Kelly. And I agree with James. It's a bar that has really good food and it's probably a great place for happy hour if you're in the neighborhood. If you would like to try Honor Kitchen and Cocktails, it's located on Powell Street in Emeryville. The telephone number is 510-653-8667. It's open every day for dinner and drinks, happy hour Monday through Friday, and brunch on the weekends. And the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $30. And remember, you need to be 21 or over.
James's spot is Pleasanton's best kept secret. A neighborhood trattoria, a local dining spot without pretense, that's the kind of family owned restaurant you might come across in Italy. Gradito to Della Torre Trattoria. Everything is made here, all of our sauces, dressings, desserts. So I think we really stay true to our core. We've stayed true to being Italian. I'm Lee Delatore, owner of Delatore's Trattoria in Pleasanton, California. We have a lot of regulars that have been here that have followed us for 27 years, and we want to make them feel welcomed and be happy that they're here. You know, just to kind of come in and have a good home-cooked meal. The specials that we really are known for, lamb shanks are really popular here. Sea bass and parchment paper, calamari, steaks. We have a ravioli special of the day. We have a risotto special of the day. So if you're here in the fall, you're going to get a lot of the butternut squash, ravioli, risottos. If you come in the spring, it's going to be lighter, like a seasoned vegetable ravioli. So my late husband was the chef, and he established all the cuisine. It's family generations of recipes, handwritten, um, and we follow those recipes to the T. Italian food is what we do. And I would think that it's friendly staff, it's not pretentious and truly Italian food and how you would find food in Italy is very close to how you would find things here. Now James, you're a long time patron of this place, aren't you? I am over 20 years. 20 years? Yes. And when you go in, is there a dish that you start out with every time or do you mix well, it up? Well, they, they start with the, with the bread and the breadsticks, which are just phenomenal. We always have the calamari. Mm -hmm. I don't think we've ever been without ordering the calamari. It's that good. Did you have the calamari? Oh, we sure did. Uh, the rings were cooked absolutely perfectly. I'd say the, the tentacle part was a little over, uh -huh. but uh, overall it was a really great way to start the meal. Mm -hmm. Not overly breaded, mm -hmm. not that heavy, heavy bread coating you might find on a fish you could, stick. You could, you could taste but, the calamari. <laughs> yes, yeah. absolutely. You can taste it. What did you start with, Kelly? So we actually started with the burrata. Mm. Oh, Because see? I am a burrata lover I as well. I was surprised. You they, the and, and in fairness, I think they call it a sliced tomato dish, or it's like a tomato dish that happens to have burrata in mm. it. And it's sliced tomatoes, burrata, a little bit of arugula, and a balsamic glaze. And so the burrata was fresh, the tomatoes were lovely. Mm -hmm. The balsamic glaze was very thick. Like it had clearly been reduced down. Mm -hmm. But it's, you know what happens when like chocolate or caramel gets on ice cream? That's what would happen to like the glaze sure. in your mouth or on the fork. And so it was just really thick and it was delicious. Then you just lick it up like that. <laughs> <laughs> we went for the on a pasto plate as oh, well. You did. Can't go wrong, really. Right. So we shared that among the table. There were eight of us. So right. that was wow. quite Ooh, a, a big party. We filled up, you know, the Yovinos. We really fill mm -hmm. a room. So uh, there were. Yovino! <laughs> <laughs> yes, so we got the Anapasto plate and it was great. I think I ate all of the olives. The kids weren't too into it, but uh, they loved the bread. To your point, yes. those breadsticks. Mm -hmm. yes. My niece cracked one in half and half of it flew across the room. So the server was wonderful and picked it up. Well, this so. was a busy place, isn't it? Absolutely. Right. Yes, we did make a reservation. Right. Uh, I yes. think there's no way to go without one. No. It's actually a really cute place in the strip mall, mm -hmm. but they have a nice little barrier. So mm -hmm. once you're inside, you don't remember that it's in a strip mall next to the fried chicken back there in the shopping center. Exactly. Right. Right. I felt like I was in like a neighborhood spot. Right. right. I, I loved everything about it. Yeah. And with a menu of that size, where should we direct people in terms of the, the main? The specials menu. The specials? Okay. The specials menu. I don't basically ever order off the menu. Mm. They don't even hand me one anymore. <laughs> Insider <laughs> tip right here. They don't. They have a list of specials, which usually always three or four fish dishes, mm -hmm. but then a lot of wild game. Okay. Yes. So I'll always be willing to try something new. Did you have anything off the specials list? Not off the specials list, but mm -hmm. it did have the spaghettini with meatballs. Uh, <laughs> the sauce was really delicious. The meatballs were perfect. Mm -hmm. And I hold my mom's meatballs, you know, to the highest standard. Yeah. But Absolutely. they came maybe edge trout a little bit, but hopefully she's not watching. <laughs> yeah, she might not be watching. Yeah. So we ordered on it. the sides. Mm. Yeah. And what did your group have? We ordered off the specialists after we ordered the first pasta <laughs> dish. And I had the fresh egg pappardelle. Mm. Um, and it had, I think they called it sirloin tips, yeah. but it was delicious. <laughs> the sirloin tips were cooked perfectly and they were like, it was full of sirloin tips. Right. The pasta was cooked perfectly. I'm a sucker for fresh pasta. And I literally ate it the next night almost cold. Like, so I mean, it was the, the so portions good. are generous. The portions are very generous. Did you have the Papadelli with sirloin right. tips is what I had. Uh, mm -hmm. The first time I had seen it on the special menu and going there for 20 years, they change it up. Like I said, I said it was the best dish I've ever had there. I know my friend that was with me, she ordered the short ribs yeah. and it came on like a bed of mashed potatoes and it also had a great gravy, but it was super tender and super flavorful. Mm. Yeah. What about drinking? 
it's kind of a family tradition to have Chianti. Just a carafe of Chianti, yes. the house Chianti. Yep, as bringing the kids from being little babies to the point where now they're old enough that we could all share it. Oh, so right. It's kind of our tradition. Right. Yeah, I feel like mm -hmm. because it was such a neighborhood place, I feel like you have to order the house wine. So I started with the house wine, mm -hmm. and then I switched, I believe, to a Pinot Noir. Mm -hmm. um, That's I, what I had. Yeah, I, I know they had a lot of Maltochino wines, mm -hmm. but because we were doing it by the glass, I couldn't really en engage in right. the bottles. You're not going to get a Brunello di Maltochino just to drink right. by yourself, no. a bottle. <laughs> no. And I, I mean, I you would. know, we had... <laughs> Maybe. Yeah, yeah. 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 All right, desserts. Oh, dessert. <laughs> We got the cannoli. Oh, <laughs> we had it to. It was my, actually, my mom ordered it and was very disappointed that when she passed it around so everyone could have a uh -huh. taste, nothing came back to it. Oh, no. So it was absolutely fantastic. And the tiramisu was exactly what you yes. would expect. Yes. It was definitely homemade, yes. tasted so fresh and flavorful and a little boozy. So mm -hmm. we liked that too. Mm -hmm. Tiramisu mm -hmm. always with a <laughs> glass of port. Oh. Well, we did get the chocolate gelato, mm. um, which was fantastic. And then my friend <laughs> got the raspberry sorbet. So they were all empty by the time we left, to say the least. <laughs> and I think they're all house made. They mm -hmm. were very, very good. Mm -hmm. All right, wrap it up for us. This is your spot. The quality is proven by the taste. There's never a bad dish. Everything about it, it's a neighborhood secret. And Natalie? I think it's a great spot to bring a family and get fed very well for a great value. And Kelly. It's a great neighborhood spot, and I wouldn't hesitate to stop again if I'm in Pleasanton. All right, if you would like to try De La Torre Trattoria, it's located on West La Positas Boulevard in Pleasanton. The telephone number is 925-484-3878. It's open for lunch and dinner Monday through Friday, dinner only on Saturday, and the average tab for dinner without drinks is around $30. Post your favorite food shots on Instagram with the hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. Kelly's Place is known for its commitment to sustainability, sourcing the freshest ingredients to create seasonal dishes. If you're looking for sushi in San Francisco, look no further than Ichi Sushi. Ichi Sushi is known for omakase, which is chef's choice. Beautiful. Some really pretty fish. We specialize in carrying Japanese fish. Yeah, so this is our fish in Japan. Everything is sustainable. We're thoughtful about our sourcing. We love our neighborhood and the planet, and we want to keep it that way, keep it healthy. I started making sushi in 1996. Then we opened this restaurant in 2010. We started when we were first dating, which is also sort of a crazy test. And now we're married more than 10 years. So True. it worked out. True. <laughs> We also are very adamant about not serving extra wasabi and soy sauce on the side. You just lose the flavor of the fish. You're not actually getting any of my craft that's actually put into the product. You're just tasting soy sauce and wasabi. Sushi was always meant to be simple. It was never meant to be convoluted with a ton of sauces. It's not bad. It's delicious. I'm very proud of our restaurant. When I was first hired by my main sensei, the guy who taught me pretty much everything I know. He told me he likes hiring non-Japanese chefs because they have to work harder. So I wouldn't really say that this restaurant is better than any other Japanese restaurant out there, but I would say that we do work really, really hard to make the best quality product we can. <laughs> Now, Kelly, this used to be your neighborhood spot, right, before you moved? Yeah, so I lived in Bruno Heights, and it's opened, I believe, in 2010. And it was just little known secret that, you know, the space is really small. You have like eight seats around the bar. And that this was when omakase really kind of came to the States, right? Which is sort of a tasting menu. Yeah, right? so it's a tasting menu mm -hmm. where the chef gets to choose. Right. Um, and when you add in the fact that they really try to only source sustainable fish, most of the time you don't know the fish. So you always get something unique. You have to have them ask, pronounce the name three or four times because mm -hmm. you won't remember it. And so it was just this spot that I would go to almost once a week. Right. And they just really welcomed you in. And the people from down the street from the different restaurants on mission, they would come in after hours. Mm -hmm. It would be a big party. They really are passionate about, as you said, getting the, the freshest fish possible from Japan. Yes, it reminds me of when you're in Japan. You know, so when you go 
to like the fish market in Japan and the fish melts in your mouth, right? And that is what, when you go to Ichi, it's the same kind of fish. And it's, you know, they have a ban on soy sauce almost. Like, right. and, yeah. and so, <laughs> and so, so but- soy sauce. Prepared it yes. exactly how exactly. it's meant to and be. That's right. And it's, that's well, right. it's for the first time you hear that, you're like, that's presumptuous, right? And, but no, they have dressed each piece of fish so lovely that you don't need it. And it's just, for me, it was one of the first experiences like that. And then the warmth of the space and how great the waiters are. Just and and did you feel the same way when you went? That Absolutely. it's small, but it's small. We had a reservation. I was lucky to make a reservation on Wednesday for a Saturday night for five. Mm -hmm. And we were seated right away. Mm -hmm. It was great. The service was some of the best service I think I've ever had. It was so attentive, not mm -hmm. overbearing. It was just absolutely perfect. Yeah. So this will come as a big shock to everybody in the room. <laughs> I am not a sushi person, but I went with a group of people who were. Right. So Same here. two of them ordered the omakase menu, um, the more moderately priced one. I know you can really go wild. <coughs> so <laughs> <laughs> it still was a little bit more His than a typical a little light night right out. Now. <laughs> and what did you start with? Uh, the cucumber salad. Mm -hmm. That was the clear winner with the tahini and the sesame. It almost tasted like peanut butter. That tahini was so fresh and so flavorful. Mm -hmm. And also the miso soup was absolutely amazing. I don't know how you could possibly make it any better than how they serve it there. And what did you have, James? I started with the Wagyu beef, oh. mm -hmm. which was very, very good. Right. I, I loved it. I felt that the portion maybe was a little small. It's Wagyu beef. It's I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I had I know. that for my entree. Okay. <laughs> yes, I had that as well as the crab salad on top of the pickled cucumbers. The crab salad was amazing. It oh, was different. Me and James it's, have it's, similar tastes here. It was so. on a bed of seaweed, correct? Mine was um, definitely a very thinly sliced cucumbers, almost yeah. pickled. They were very vinegary and tart, but complemented the crab so well. Right. And when you go, do you do the I omakase do the menu? Omakase. So we actually got three or four appetizers. We got the oysters, which had mm -hmm. a little caviar in it, which was delicious. And luckily, my friend didn't eat oysters, so I got two. <laughs> and then no. we had the scallop taco, mm -hmm. which was a really nice group of scallops, and they had um, a little roll with it. But the taco was a seaweed, like you know, the seaweed that you snack mm -hmm. on, and you made a little taco out of it. So that was delicious. Oh my God, it's so good. So the way they serve you, at least at the bar, is um, you have a nice banana leaf, mm -hmm. and they put one piece of fish, and it's like glistening from the yuzu sauce mm -hmm. or the ponzu and the Meyer lemon salt, and they explain to you what the dish is. Mm -hmm. One of them was baby yellowtail, mm -hmm. um, and then it had a ponzu sauce with a little bit of green tea salt, maybe, mm -hmm. that really makes the fish sing, and it doesn't get overpowered by soy sauce, which right. I love soy sauce, so sometimes I kind of want a little bit, but right. I, I will not get in trouble and ask for it. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, essentially when you do omakase, they just put fish after in fish after fish, mm -hmm. and it's amazing. So and you can do rolls as well. Yes, right. hand select absolutely. Uh, and so what about the mushroom roll? The mushroom roll was very good. Something um, different. Mm -hmm. We had someone with us that is an anti-mushroom person. What? For some reason. How she, can you be anti-mushroom? And she tried it and she loved it. She wasn't sure that we had changed her. <laughs> but possibly maybe again next time. Well, and they have a sake marinated miso cod. Yes. That you can order as well. Mm -hmm. They have a pork. It was in a mustard glaze mm -hmm. that they serve at the end of even omakase, which was delicious. Did you go for a glass of wine? I did go for a glass of wine. You know me so well. I, I, I know it already. <laughs> yes, had a glass of rosé. It mm -hmm. was absolutely lovely. The sparkling rosé? Mm -hmm. Sparkling rosé. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it was great light to go with the light mm -hmm. dishes. What did you What did you have? Sake. I was sake. intrigued by not yeah. having sake very often. So my daughter and I both mm -hmm. had a sake tasting flight, and he came out and told us all about it, explained all the different complexities, how they were mm -hmm. going to taste, et cetera. And we shared those and we had a fantastic, fun time learning something new. Well, and, and that brings up service. As you said, great service. They could not, not help you really quickly because it's so small. They're standing right behind you. <laughs> the chef's right there, the everything, the bathroom's they right there. They heard your thoughts, so I mean, they came right there's over. There's a sign on the wall that says, like, maximum occupancy, 49. 49. Oh, okay, you saw that too, 49. I I'm took like, a picture. So did I. <laughs> Can 49 people fit in? No, no, no. no. <laughs> well, this is your spot. Wrap it up for us. Ichi Sushi is a great neighborhood spot with delicious sushi without all the pretense. All right, and James? Very good restaurant, um, expensive on the high end, not maybe for a big party of a lot of people, maybe better for a date night. All right, and Natalie? <laughs> and I agree with James. It's a great place for a date night or a celebration with friends. Uh, definitely a special occasion spot. 
All right, if you would like to try Ichi Sushi, it's located on Mission in San Francisco at 30th. The telephone number is 415-525-4750. It's open for dinner Monday through Saturday, and the average dinner tab per person without drinks is around $70. I have to thank my great guests on this week's show, Natalie Yovino, who brought us to a place where distinctive drinks abide at Honored Kitchen and Cocktails in Emeryville, James Jennison, who helped us discover a neighborhood favorite serving classic Italian fare at De La Torre Trattoria in Pleasanton, and Kelly Finley, who shared one of her beloved Mission District hangouts, Ichi Sushi. Now, we really want to hear about your experiences at any of the restaurants we've been talking about. So keep in touch with us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. Or better yet, post your favorite food shots on Instagram with the hashtag Bay Area Bites and have a chance to see your food pics on the show. And don't forget that you can watch any of the shows on our website at kqed.org slash check please. It's where you'll find links to the restaurants and where you'll find my notes on the wines and libations we're drinking today. So join us next time when three more guests will recommend their favorite spots right here on Check Please Bay Area. I'm Leslie Sobraco, and I'll see you then. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, everyone. Great show. Check Please Bay Area is made possible by the members of KQBD and by Oakland International Airport. Now with flights all over the world. iFlyOAK.com. It's the national recognition for healthcare equality. It's a thousand things, big and small. Sutter Health. Redwood Credit Union offers personal and business banking, mobile access, and nationwide ATMs. It's banking for people who call this home and the future we're building together. Redwood Credit Union. Cooking is the first kind of love you know. It was starting when I was a child with my grandmother doing fresh pasta, and now I transmit it to all the guests. It's something made specially for them. Oceana Cruises, proud sponsor of Check Please Bay Area. Total Wine & More, offering more than 8,000 wines, 2,500 beers, and 3,000 spirits. Total Wine & More, now with nine Bay Area locations. TotalWine.com. It's like a, you know, uh, extra virgin olive oil and garlic. We're going to stop the show right now. <laughs> James. That might have been Let awful. me answer it. <laughs> Who is that? Let me talk to him. Got to hand it over to Leslie. Hello. Hi, Robert. Good. You're on the show right now for Check Please Bay Area, so we're going to have James call you back, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I've never answered the phone on set. That's awesome. <laughs>